Hello Bella friends, in this video I am going to set up my bullet journal for December and I recorded this and set it up because I took a long time. So first things first, I have gathered some scrapbook paper, some stickers, all that kind of good stuff, some washi tape that you can see in the frame and I am going to start by decorating my cover page for December and it, when I tell you that I struggled with this, <laughs> I am not lying. Um, I wasn't really sure what I want to do, so <laughs> I kind of just improvised and it is definitely not my favorite cover page of all time, but I mean it happens, um, it doesn't really matter that much. So I am using this scrapbook paper, these two different kinds and also this paper minty studio washi tape uh, that is very hard to get off the roll, so it always rips in the middle somehow. So um, that's the kind of the base of um, this cover page and I also bought some illustrations on the creative market and printed them as a kind of sticker sheet and I also have a couple other sticker sheets that I want to use and some washi tape as you can tell um, I am just placing down some of those and I have these stickers um, from Catherine Sarah Journals on Patreon. Um, her Patreon is called the Grimoire Club and I am a patron and so I receive these printable stickers every month and then I have these other ones that I bought on Creative Market that you just saw. So I'm cutting out those. Um, some of it I printed on normal paper, some of it I actually printed on sticker paper because I recently just bought <laughs> some sticker paper finally so i don't have to glue everything but the um, stickers by Catherine sarah from the grimoire club um i had those like before i had my sticker paper so i printed those on normal paper so as you can tell i'm really struggling with the composition of this page and so yeah i'm just trying out stuff putting down more washi tape um Trying to like decide in my head where to put stuff so it kind of looks good. It is really not that easy and I was not in a very creative like headspace I think when I um, filmed this video and when I created this cover page and that happens and I think you don't sh you, you shouldn't be that hard on yourself. I think I am I think I was kind of hard on myself when I finished this page because I didn't really like it that much. Um, so I think I was panicking a bit because I knew I was filming and I knew I had to kind of make this work on camera and then it didn't want to turn out so I think I overdid it a little bit but it's fine it doesn't matter it's just a page in your journal <laughs> I still like the color um, the colors I chose so I think it's I think I like the green and the pink it's a little bit of like a different kind of vibe it's not the typical red and green it's pink and green and I still, still think it's kind of Christmassy a little bit or kind of you know holiday-ish <laughs> if that's even a word so I think I still think it's fine it's not my best work but you know so yeah I created um, this page like that that you can see now and so it has like a huge like blank space in the middle <laughs> and so that's unfortunate because it was really hard to figure out what to put um because i didn't want to just put something in the middle of that blank space so i was trying i really was trying so i hope you forgive me for <laughs> creating a mediocre cover page for december um but yeah, it just happens. So just don't be so hard on yourself if you create a page that you don't like. You can just turn the page, never look at it. I also glued together pages before in my journals that I hated, so that's an option. <laughs> so you can never look at it <laughs> again. So the next page is my monthly calendar and I am just taking the measurements from old months because I wanted to create the same kind of calendar uh, with the same measurements and so this is like my moon phases calendar because i don't really need a monthly calendar in my bullet journal i have so many in my other planners that i 
I really have enough. So I am using this um, as a moon phase calendar just because I like the way it looks. And sometimes that's enough. So it doesn't have to serve any other purpose than you liking it. <laughs> so that's why I do it because I like to do it. Um, I am not gonna add the moons uh, in this video because I didn't have the resource for that. Uh, so I'm just gonna create the calendar and decorate the page around it. So, but you can see the completed page on my uh, Instagram very soon, I think. <laughs> I already did the page, I just didn't take a photo of it. But I will post it on my Instagram eventually, so if you're interested in that, um, you can check out my Instagram. Uh, but yeah, she is struggling with, with these pages, as you can tell. I had no idea what to do. Um, also, my journal is very chunky, so it is really hard to put anything on the left page because it is like so much higher than the right side, if you know what I mean. Like, it lays like much higher because it's very chunky underneath. So it's kind of hard. <laughs> it, also, it is also kind of hard writing on that page, to be honest. It is also hard writing on the right page because then your hand is on the left side because I'm a lefty. My hand is on the left side and it is way higher than the right side of the notebook. So it's, it's a whole ordeal. Um, the notebook is also almost completely full. <laughs> so I am really happy to start a new one because the bulk, I mean, I love a chunky journal, don't get me wrong, and it's very satisfying to hold it in my hands and to know that I did this throughout the year and now it's full and I put so many nice things in there, but it's kind of hard to write on <laughs> and it's also kind of hard to decorate because how chunky it is. So yeah, the left side is, as I mentioned, my lunar calendar and my goals and on the right I'm gonna have my monthly tarot spread I always do a tarot spread in the, at the beginning of the month to see what the cards hold for me for the next month and I have these printable tarot cards that I just stick down and write down what they mean so that's what that page is going to be and yeah I mean I like this page to be honest um, I, I do I do like it. I mean, it's a little bit chaotic, <laughs> but um, you know, the way I was like so under pressure, I felt like because I was filming and because of how the cover page turned out, I think like if you take that into consideration, I think I did okay with these two pages. <laughs> and yeah, so. So I'm using some of those creative market illustrations that I bought and printed for this page. And then we are on to the last two pages because my monthly initial setup is pretty basic. <laughs> so I do a cover page, I do a monthly calendar for my moon phases, I do a page for my tarot reading, and then lately I have been doing a page for a daily tarot card. So it's going to be on the left side. And then I also do a gratitude list on the right side. So that's what I'm currently doing. And so with the daily tarot, I just um, pull a card. I would like to say daily, but that never happens. <laughs> so sometimes I just pull multiple cards to fill up the days but I do create a list um, so that every day of the month has a space and then the original plan was to just pull a tarot card for each day and then write down what the card was and what it means if it's like the right way around or if it's like flipped or like upside down so that I can ultimately, hopefully, learn the different kind of meanings of each card. And so that's the reason. And also, if I would do it daily, it would also be to, you know, just have like a kind of a message <laughs> for each day. But as I mentioned, I don't, I can't do it physically every day because <laughs> I just don't have the time each day. And oftentimes I forget. 
So then I just sit down and fill out the days that I didn't have time to do. Um, so, but it's still like a good opportunity to learn about the cards and what they mean. And so I like to do it. <laughs> I also like to do the spread and I like how the spread looks and I like to look back on it. So that's why I do it. And hopefully I can get better at this in the future and do it daily instead of doing it <laughs> afterwards. And yes, I stamp daily wrong. I did stamp another eye when I didn't mean to, so. But it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Just don't look at it. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically my setup. I hope you like this video. I am just going to put down the numbers for the days and that's it. Um, so if you wanna see these pages filled out, check out my Instagram. And if you wanna see my weekly spreads that I'm going to do for December, that is not in this video, then also check out my Instagram because I'm going to post that in the future. So I hope you like this video and I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!